When we use the current market value of the goods and services, we're calculating the nominal GDP of the economy. For an economy with several different goods and services, we can express nominal GDP as the sum of all the current prices multiplied by the quantity produced for each good. For example, if Tinyland only produces apples and oranges at the following prices and quantity in 2016, the nominal GDP would be $396. Let's say the production figures for 2017 are as such. The nominal GDP for 2017 is $500. This is a whopping 26% GDP growth for 2016. As the growth in nominal GDP will include the effect of price increase for the period, this figure is not representative of the actual production growth. Economists prefer to analyse the real GDP growth rate instead as it strips away the effect of inflation. Real GDP is calculated relative to a base year. By using base year prices and current year output quantities, real GDP growth reflects only increases in total output. Per capita real GDP is defined as real GDP divided by population and is often used as a measure of the economic well-being of a country's residents. If we take 2016 as the base year, the real GDP for 2016 will be the same as nominal GDP as it is the base year. For 2017, we use 2016 prices to calculate the real GDP, plug in the appropriate prices and we get $430. So in fact, the real GDP growth for 2017 is just 8.6%. As the effect of price increase has been removed, this is the actual increase in production for 2017. The GDP deflator is a price index that can be used to convert nominal GDP into real GDP and can be calculated using this formula. So for Tinyland, the GDP deflator for 2017 is 116.3. The GDP deflator formula can be rearranged so you can easily calculate the real GDP if you know the nominal GDP and GDP deflator for the year. Let's illustrate this with an exercise. In 2012, Wonderland's nominal GDP was $50 billion. The nominal GDP grew at an annualized rate of 7.5% from 2012 to 2018. Using 2012 as the base year, calculate the annualised growth in real GDP from 2012 to 2018 if the GDP deflator is 122.3 for 2018. Pause the video now and work out your answer. And we're back. First, let's calculate the nominal GDP for 2018. Compounding at 7.5% for six years, we get $77.165 billion. Next, we calculate the real GDP using the GDP deflator. Plug the figures in and we get $63.095 billion. The annualized real GDP growth for the period is therefore 3.95%. You're watching an excerpt from our comprehensive animation library. For more videos like these, head on down to prepnuggets.com. At Prep Nuggets, let us do the hard work for you.